hey guys what's up and welcome back to my channel so today's video I'm gonna be testing out the KBD good apple foundation at this very moment when I'm recording this video I think it's still sold out I was able to grab mine from Ulta and I was barely able to get the shade that I bought I want to see why y'all out here clearing the shelves I just had to find out like I had to so if you guys are interested in hearing my thoughts and opinions and also seeing me try out this foundation for the first time then please make sure you keep on watching every day I wake up like a boss and I'll be thinking Jesus fake is trying to get up in my circle I'm really I had to get out here and see what the hype was about because I just did not understand what it is about this foundation that everybody was going crazy over. When I went to the store, literally, it was barely anything available. Like, at this point, I'm like, was this paid promotion or something? Because it's not making no sense how this foundation just came out the sky and just went crazy like this all over the internet. This might not be a good color. I don't know y'all we gonna see it is what it is it is what it is so I got the color tan 57 this one is for medium to tan skin tones with a neutral undertone did not notice had a neutral undertone I thought this was gonna be a little bit more golden so you know I'm gonna make do because this is all I can get it's supposed to be a hydrating formula that gives you buildable coverage so that means you can go lightweight you can go full just depending on how you feel at the present moment the formulation is a cream it's supposed to dry down to a matte okay so it says the highlighted ingredients is apple extract which nourishes the skin and sodium hyaluronate which hydrates the skin okay so according to their clinical results it says 97% says it feels lightweight 94% said it delivers a buildable full coverage and 94% agrees that it makes the skin look healthy soft and fresh you guys so I am going to put on a powder with this because I know for a fact if I put this on and I don't put nothing on top, no setting powder, no nothing, it will legit come closer, come closer. It will legit slide off my skin. I have oily skin. All right, guys, I have oily skin all in my T-zone. There's the color. Um, it looks promising, but. I'm not gonna be surprised if it doesn't work out. This is my complexion brush. This is the number 115. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and touch this. Oh my God, this is so, 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 so creamy. Like this literally is like 100% like a balm texture. All right, so maybe I gotta press it a little harder to get some color. Okay, I got some product on there, y'all. Yo, this, this is a lot of product and this is too light. It's probably gonna be enough for my entire face. Like, look how, look how thick that is. Now y'all know I love full coverage foundation, but even for me, this is a lot. I'm gonna go ahead, blend it out. It's supposed to give me like a lightweight feeling. So I'm really interested in seeing if that is the case. So let's go ahead and start blending it out. And I'm literally just going to drag this product through my face because it's a lot. So I really don't feel like I need any more, you know, product. This coverage is insane. I think it's because of how little product you need and the way that it spreads is what people love the most. I'm kind of getting the hype around it, but it's not like revolutionary, you know what I'm saying? So hey guys, so we're gonna state the obvious. The obvious is that this color is not for me. Like, I need at least two, three shades down. Like, I'm literally turning gray with this foundation color, and that is just not cute. Besides the color, this product, um, it covers really well. My skin does look moisturized, so that's why I'm kind of like, how can this, is this gonna dry down to a soft matte more so than a complete matte? Because that's the only thing I could see happening with this. We're gonna have to put some powder on top of this. I look great. I look so great. I'm like, ooh, 
lord casket ready girl casket ready oh and this is supposed to be a foundation that does not clog your pores okay you guys so we're gonna go in with my fenty powder in 330 to change the color of this foundation because i can't look at this no more and being that i'm putting this fenty powder on top it's literally gonna build it up to that full coverage look If you have oily skin, there is no way you could wear this without putting a powder on top. It's way too rich and creamy for you to do that. Like, it's way too creamy. So I went ahead and put my Fenty powder to help balance out this coloring and to basically help cover it. Now, this is my side with the Good Apple. Okay, guys. So now that I went ahead and balanced out my skin with my Fenty powder, because it literally, it had to be done. Even if the color matched, I would not be quick to wear this alone just because it's way too shiny. It's way too, it's way too much um, hydration in it for me to wear it alone. I am gonna go ahead and, you know, add all the rest of the elements so you guys can see it as a whole. And we're gonna come back and we're gonna wrap this up. Hey guys, so we're back and this is the end result. Okay, finesse game strong girl like finesse game okay i'm gonna be honest with you guys this is going back to the store because it's it's great okay so i'm not gonna even sit up here and hold on to this foundation because it's clearly not the right shade for me overall do i think this is some type of revolutionary foundation that cannot be replicated or we haven't seen before absolutely not or i don't know where the hype really came from or who started it necessarily but to me it's just a full coverage foundation that's a cream it's very comparable to the mac full coverage cream foundation that they have and honestly the mac one is probably even better but one thing i can say if you do get this foundation it does not take much I can see where people thought that people were caking this on when you really weren't. And for me, y'all already saw, I did that one swipe and I literally used that one swipe for my entire face. Like, but I just know for sure if I would have kept applying more and more product, it would have just went too heavy on the skin. Now it does feel lightweight. It definitely hydrates for sure. Um, but it's not a matte finish. It gives me very much a dewy finish. Even after I let some time pass by, it was still very much a dewy finish. <laughs> Do I think this is something that y'all should be running out like y'all crazy, going to buy? Absolutely not. Like, now look, y'all got me. I've tested it for y'all. I gave y'all the real deal. And it's literally just FOMO. So, yeah, you guys, that's basically all my thoughts and opinions about this new KBD Good Apple Foundation and all the hype that was around it. Yeah, you guys, if you enjoyed my review of the new KBD Good Apple Foundation that went viral all over the beauty community, go ahead and give me a huge thumbs up. Please make sure you go ahead and comment and subscribe for me. And I can't wait to see you guys on my next video. Bye, guys.